Hey guys, so news here, bringing you a non-live gameplay on Black Ops. Uh, surprisingly, you must have seen for me the past few weeks. I've just been uploading live sessions. Oh, by the way, we're on uh, Summit Domination. I'm using a fan mask with extended mag, scavenger, slight of hand, and tactical mask. Slight of hand, and tactical mask, or a pro. I <sighs> get a pretty good KD. You can see it. Uh, Claymore's equipment. Whew, so, be out of touch with this, but um, basically, the whole reason behind uploading the live stuff is because live is easier. I do the commentary and the gameplay all in one session. I don't have to s select the gameplay from a hard drive, of which I have quite a lot, by the way. At least 40, which is pretty awesome. Um, I'll probably do more live sessions in the future, mainly because it's really fun. <laughs> I mean, you guys have no idea how fun doing a live session can be. Because sometimes I'll just forget, you know, I'll just be playing normally without the pressure. Also, I'm trying a new commentary technique, is where I, um, assists. Um, I'm playing... Like music while I'm talking, it helps me because when I talk, just talking, then the room is in complete silence because I mute the gameplay when I talk when I come to. Uh, it feels really weird. I don't like working in complete silence. I don't like anything in complete silence. It just doesn't. It's just if any little noise happens, I get completely distracted. If you guys get what I mean, understand. Uh, but anyway, let's move on to a separate topic. Shout outs. Again, I'll be giving another shout out to Johnny Handsome because he's just awesome sauce. I gave him a little shout out in the live session. But here's another one. Link in the description and on the screen now. Another shout out would be. Well, I had to wake up early and got the physiotherapist. Um, the next shout out is Swagging Crow. Pretty good, pretty cool dude. He's in stand deaf, but he's getting a he's getting his PVR called soon, I believe. Blackbird totally says my life here. Get a double drop shot. Get the new Blackbird. Um, he's going HD, which he got pretty good gameplay, good commentary. He just last night broke 100 subscribers, which is pretty awesome. He's going really fast. So I want to help him out. So his link's on the screen now and in the description. Um, if you guys ever want to play with me, just send me a message. Just send me a friend request with like a little voice ta message tag on the end of like saying uh, I'm subscribed, blah blah blah, all that stuff. This guy <laughs> just keeps tactically uncertain back at A. It's like really, um, like confusing at first, you know what was going on. Pick up a double spray, you respawn with these tactical insertion, but luckily the beast known as Dark Wolf, um, picks him off out of his tack. I just, I just throw nades randomly. Like, if it's like towards a flag or towards spawn, look, you know, you never know. Even though I have extended mags with the reload. I'll tell you the thing I'm starting to do more and more is uh, reload, even if I've only like, spent a bullet like last night, I got a M60 gameplay, which is, in my opinion, a completely overpowered weapon in the game. Um, but again, at that topic, once I do an M60 gameplay, um, I shot one bullet off by accident, triple spray, and I <laughs> reloaded the night, I reloaded like one bullet. <laughs> Pretty fun, but like the M60, I'll get onto it later, I don't feel like talking about it now. Um, right. it's, I didn't know where I was going to go with that. Yeah, another defense on Pete. And basically, usually when I play, sorry, usually when I play Domination, my role yeah, to defend the B flag, mainly because I feel it's the most important map, a, a point on the map. Yeah, that works. And it's the best defense possible. Usually my teammates are all like going spawn trap and such, but I'm here always to I'm um, gonna just gonna change song real fast. Um ah, that's better. Um teammates are usually pretty strong players, so what they do is just continuously kill and stuff. I mean for example when you're not a good K D, but a beast of a player, just saying. Um in the live session I think he gets two triples in the live session, which is pretty pretty cool. Um, also, I think I'm a bit too aggressive in this. I think I run forward too much. Like, I think it's right now, maybe, yeah, yeah I push in, and I think it flips the spawn. I forget, nice double spray. 
I think I get another dull spray at that point, at that same like exact area in the map. Yeah, I push forward and it's just too much and it overloads the spawn because two people are already in it. Um, but anyway, that's that part where I just got the double spray. It seems to be a quite a popular double spray spot uh, because if you'll notice later on the gameplay, I think 150 dom points in. Um, you'll see me get another gameplay, or not the gameplay, another um, killing double kill. Yeah, that works. Right there, um, I knew they were taking it because of the Blackbird, but the smart thing, I did the smart thing and didn't rush in there and try and, you know, get that little triple spray. I <laughs> thought what was going on here. The guy just ran away. So what I did was I cleared them off the flag. Unfortunately, I ran out of bullets, but that really doesn't matter because, you know, I cleared most of them off the flag. I think another black bird gets thrown up about now, maybe. Uh, when you run a full team, you really don't go without blackbirds for all too long, mainly because most people in your team are running blackbird, and they're pretty beasts, so they'll usually get a blackbird. Like right now, I think this is quite a long way to our next blackbird, which is really odd for us. I didn't, I didn't tell my kill streak layout. Uh, recently, I've been running the UAV, Attack Chopper, and Blackbird. I'm not sure I've said this already in a different gameplay commentary. I think I definitely have. I'm not sure, but you know, we'll find out. Someone will tell me, or I'll realize. Um, but I feel that's a really strong kill streak layout, mainly because you get the advantage of the um, radar of the UAV on the back, bro. Help other points secure them, and but you also get the advantage of a killing kill streak to go out there and like block them off at spawn. And it's attached up, so you can place it wherever you want. Which I feel is a really, really good um, thing. Like I from used to run like gunships and stuff like that, but I realized when you put when you roll with beasts and legends such as these guys, it's not much point. Right here, they somehow capture uh, a. So I'm back here, recapturing the point and blocking their spawn off. At the point was still help from I think it was Wolf that helped me there. Yeah, it was Wolf. Right here, I juke an RCD into the wall, which is pretty awesome. Spray that guy down. Um, do you guys like it when I talk more about the gameplay like this? Uh, I'm not really used to it. I, I well, I am used to it, but like, it, it just I don't know. There's not much to talk about. Here. There's that like, other double spray. I get like a, like a mini triple feed right there, which is pretty, pretty sweet. I must say. I'm throwing a flag at that spawn point. Oh, one seven kill streak. Will I make it to the eight? We will have to find out in a few minutes. Uh, also, I'm not sure, but I have upgraded my computer quite a fair bit. Oh, oh, I said, I, yeah, Tactical Mask Pro right there. The stun barely affected me. I love Tactical Mask Pro, I just gotta say it. It's so awesome as a Blackbird. Blackbird is the best kill streak in the game. I just segued that completely from what I was saying. But yeah, Blackbird is the best kill streak in the game. Uh, some people say it's overpowered. To those people, I say count your AV. You don't, you don't like someone running Blackbird with the triple feed? You run count, you even block off her Blackbird. Simple. Oh, but, you know, you can shoot the count UAV, da UAV down, but if you're a strong enough player, you're obviously going to get more than one count UAV, so. You know, I get this guy sitting behind this thing box here, but I don't know what he was doing sitting there. You can obviously tell when you're playing against um, a bunch of randoms and when they're not a full team, I should get outplayed by an Olympia there. Because they don't make any like push towards an objective, they'll just sit in random positions. For example, I'm going to be last night. I was in a game with uh, Stone Vicar Greg. Oh my God, Greg knows the game I'm talking about. Um, we were on domination on WMD. Usually, you know, two three people can win a domination game, but this team we were having was just awful. They were they refused to touch a flag. It was basically me and him defending C all game because the enemy team kept constantly rushing it and we could not defend against it. Like my, we had a, we had like three black, two or three blackbirds at least during that game, and you these all the time. And our team just refused, flat refused to take advantage of them, which was really, really frustrating. We lost, we ended up almost clutching the um the game, but what happened was like we we had to triple cap for at least like three, two or three seconds. We tried to cap for two seconds, but it wasn't enough, so they capped the back two flag. Teams refused. And we, Greg and I, were the only people with caps. But anyway, that'll 
that'll be discussed tomorrow when I do the commentary. Maybe I go sixty. I go sixty-five and twelve. Three, three captures, ten defends. Great game. Talk to you guys later.